Hi, my name is Carla Schaun. I'm the owner of a small breeding operation by the name of Moonstruck Meadows in Le Center, Washington. And I'm here today to talk to you about why Andalusians are so rare. It wasn't until just a few years ago, probably five or six years ago, that that was very true. However, the horses are much more available to the general public nowadays. But back in the early 1900s, probably the first quarter of uh, the 20th century, the first Andalusian horses were imported into the United States. Um, it took a lot of money. Uh, people were importing the best horses they could and starting breeding programs. One of the old breeders that uh, is most often referred to as the Garrisons, they were in California. Uh, the Denims that are in Texas also imported a small group of horses and there were a couple of breeders on the East Coast. And from there it spread, and more people saw the breed, recognized the breed, started enjoying the breed. The breed registry was started in the United States, and it just blossomed from there. But it was only a few years ago that the 10,000th horse was registered with the IALHA. Uh, so still today, they aren't that easy to find, but they are available in the United States and in North America.